Hi, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of Neuron Writer. It is an AI writer that can write SEO optimized content using its special research tool. Right now, there's a lifetime deal currently on AppSumo, and let me just go over what you get with it. So, if you order now, you'll get the lifetime deal. So, a lot of these things switch over to monthly once it leaves AppSumo. And this one right here, it shows you the basic steps. You begin your research by giving the target keyword. It then goes to build the document. It uses GPT-3 to create the content. And then um, it also analyzes the competitor's article so that you can create something that's similar to or better and rank for that content within your blog. Um, for 60 bucks, uh, uh, I really don't like when they put the 59. It, okay, for, I'm going to say $60 here. For $60, you get two projects, 25 articles um, a month, all right? And uh, you get 15,000 monthly AI credits, which is uh, about 15,000 to 75,000 words, depending on the quality. Then you have a draft generator. You have a content template and internal leaking. That, that's going to be coming soon. And you can stack two codes. So what that means is you can buy, uh, you can buy this twice and get like five projects, um, fifty articles a month, thirty monthly AI credits. I would highly recommend that at least if you're interested in this after watching this video and, and seeing what it can do, uh, you can go ahead and, and try out one stack first and see if you like it. Okay, so let's move on to the dashboard. Once you go ahead and you purchase this. This is what it'll look like on the inside. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions again. I've mentioned in another video how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate my channel and to save time while building traffic. So hey, if you're interested in how to make money with YouTube using AI tools to automate a lot of your work and to build traffic, uh, I'll put a link in the description and it will take you to the course where you can see how I do that. It's just there for people who are interested. So let's get on with the video. They'll ask you right away to uh, put your domain name in and my guess is it's going to take your website domain like what you're going to be writing on for your website uh, it's going to take all the metadata such as your tags maybe your um, yeah, maybe your description and it's going to help use that use that data and to uh, create the content so I'm going to enter my uh, domain for my website that's uh DigitalNomad.com, click on next. All right, so then you can pick the default search engine. I prefer uh, Google and United States and default language, I'm going to put English. Then you have opt optimal settings. Uh, let's see, desired keywords, one per line. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like that and then create. All right. So from here, you got the uh, write or optimize content with the help of the best SEO slash NLP guidelines, analysts, SERP for the given keyword. All right. So from here, I'm, I'm going to, this is like the research center. I guess it's the best way you can describe it where you can enter in your keyword. Right. And then uh, see what you want to rank for. I'm going to be ranking for um, AI content writer. All right. Oops. Writing tools. I'm going to enter that in and click start. then uh, it's going to take a while. Right? This is a web-based tool, so I don't have to install anything. And basically the, the computer on this uh, website is, gonna, is doing all the heavy lifting. And it's telling me, let me see, let me view the results. It's giving me the results. All right, so from here, uh, this spits back the results of my keyword that I entered. 
and it gives me the content score. So this basically tells me how optimized it is. The higher the score, the more optimized it is. And I know this sounds uh, kind of counterintuitive, but you want to see orange. All right. So this the green means that it's it's highly optimized. Their 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 article, your competitor's article is highly optimized. So that means it's going to be a bit harder for users to squeeze in there. But the red, if you see red within the first 10, um, that's a good sign. That means it's not very optimized and you can go ahead and and slide in there, all right? So uh, that's how that works. Now, from here, you get to you don't have to pick uh, the first 10, you can always deselect them, but you want to pick what's relevant. So if you see anything like, um, I don't know, a wiki article or you see anything uh, that's not relevant to this, maybe a YouTube video, you can go ahead and deselect it. All right, so right here, they give you the a top 30. All right, they don't stop at the top 10, they give you all the way to 30. Uh, ideally, you want to see if you can squeak in within a 15, the top 15. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side, I don't, I don't really like me, you know, medium.com is not really relevant. The other in, uh, important information is the word length. All right, you want to see how long um, of an article uh, they wrote so you can you can go ahead and create something a little bit longer so maybe you can outrank them. So for this term right now, the first uh, like the first three two spots is looking pretty good. You got um, you got this one right here. It has about three thousand words, and then you have this one here by Ryder. It's about thirty six words. That that's that's the this you might be able to get second place if I can write more words in this that are better and more interesting. All right, so let me go. Uh, once you once you've go, gone ahead and you pick the ones that you want to kind of input within your database or the one that you you think um, you want to include so that you you can kind of mimic uh, what what art, what uh, headings and subheadings that they have. Uh, you can always add more than than ten. All right, let me just show you real quick. But I'm just gonna leave it at ten. Uh, let me let me see if I can add in some other ones. Let me see. Right, Sonic, uh, Medium, Freeze AI. Maybe. All right, I'll add a few more in. And then from here, once you're done with that, you simply click on Update Competitor Selection and Continue. All right, so from here. You're getting a blank canvas, and of course your content score is going to be a nice zero because you have nothing on it. Now from here, what you what you need to do is you've got to create the the outline. So um, on the right hand side, these are kind of like the words that are commonly added in the article. So I'm gonna put uh, you got AI writing. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, let me. These are like the the keywords that they they kind of um, have analyzed throughout the each each of those websites. All right. So, um, in order to create content, I would go ahead and create the draft article right here, and from here it gives you like content ideas or the headers of the one the articles or the websites that were very popular so right here here's one will ai take over content creation what are the best ai content writing tools uh, i kind of like i kind of like this one here and let me see why should i use ai writing tools that's a good one Let me move this one up, All right, so you can change the location of uh, the subheading and headings by cl simply clicking up and down arrow. Let's see, what are the best free free tools. How does it work? All right, so let me go ahead and. 
have this up here. Oops. So it goes, what is artificial intelligence? Why should I use AI writing tools? How does AI software work? What are the best AI writing tools? And what are the best free AI writing tools? All right, I think that's gonna be good enough. And then from here, let me see. Okay, so now you have your outline on the left-hand side that you just selected. And in order to fill it out and create content, you simply click over here, oops, click on generate. And you can change it or you can leave it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. Click on generate. And wait for it to load. And then you can go ahead and read it. Uh, artificial, so, so the heading is, uh, do you want to use text generated by AI? Oh, sorry, this is, this is, not, <laughs> this is something else, but uh, the question is, artificial intelligence or AI writing software is a computer program that writes content for you. It uses algorithms to generate quality content that is relevant to your topic. You can use AI writing software to help you help with your content marketing by using the tools to create and manage your content. The software can also help you with writing quality content by using the tools to improve your writing skills. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to generate another one. And the, and the heading is what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence or AI writing software is a computer program that writes content for you. It uses algorithms to understand what you want to say and then writes it in a way that is easy to read and, engage, and engaging. There are many benefits of using AI writing software. For one, it can help you save time by writing content for you. Additionally, it can also help you create better quality content since it understands grammar and syntax. Finally, using AI writing software can also help you with your content marketing by making sure that your content is relevant and engaging. All right, I'm going to use this text. And as you can see, it's the moment you, cl you click on use, it plops it down in here. Then this one right here, you can just do the same thing again. Uh, why should I use AI writing tool? Click generate. There are many reasons to use an AI uh, writing tool. AI writing tools can help you create content faster and more efficiently. They can also help you to improve your writing process by providing feedback and suggestions. Additionally, using an AI writing tool can help you generate new ideas and perspective. I like that. That's, that's pretty good. All right. And then I uh, just want to show you, you know, I don't want to repeat this again. You get the idea. Uh, let's say you want to expand this. All right. You simply click on expand. Oops, I'll expand that. So let me click on this and you click on expand. Uh, 20 to 200. All right, let me, let me go with this one. Let's see, expand. Hmm. That's kind of, kind of odd. Let me, All right, well, I'm gonna have to play around with that. But you get the idea, you can fill it all the way out, and as you fill it out, the content score uh, continues. So that's that's how it works. Um, I, all in all, I really like how this works. Um, I kinda I kinda think that, it, you know, if your content can't rank, um, well, then what good is it? So <laughs> you need the traffic. All right, so this this is really cool because it has the it has everything in one. It has the uh, research tool to analyze your competitors' um, keywords, their content length, their size, to see if you have a chance of ranking for that that piece of content, and then it helps you create the content. 
and it's a right now it's a lifetime deal so it's really good value for money it has all the tools that you need in one um, you know keyword research tool content creator the only thing I would you know recommend uh, you can use a maybe a free grammar tool and a free plagiarism checker to kind of run this through to, to you know polish it up a bit but other than that I I think this is a great tool and uh, I would highly recommend at least giving it a try and you know seeing seeing how it works for you all right so I hope this video was helpful and if it was could you please hit the like button I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video